New Jersey is entering its third week under stage two of the state's reopening, and malls are open for business. Shop owners are absolutely thrilled to be back. I mean, it's, it's, it's huge for us to be back in the mall. I mean, uh, the mall, the foot traffic in the mall is excellent. Uh, our store always did well here. You know, so we're cautiously optimistic that foot traffic is going to increase. People want to spend. I, tell you, I think I slept about three hours last night. I've been up since about 530. You know, you just got so much on your mind. Uh, we have basically been doing nothing and had no income coming in, um, you know, for three and a half months now. So to finally get get things going is uh, a big relief. Many of the stores still need time to gear up because the mall does look a lot different from the last time they were open back in March. We started getting all of the tables moved around so we could make sure that everyone could stay six feet apart. We have our plexiglass set up so that we don't have to be too close and we have something between us with the customers and as you'll see everywhere there's extra hand sanitizer so if somebody wants to use it before they come in the store or at the register they have that available to them. The big difference that you see is that they took away the seating area because don't want everybody just kind of milling around. Masks are mandatory here and communal seating and food courts are closed for the time being. And as you can see by the lines of some stores, the malls have to adhere to a 50% capacity limit at a time. At any moment in time, the mall can be closed. At any moment in time, someone can come into the mall with COVID and, and people will freak out and decide not to come. This business owner tells me that although times have been tough, he is more worried about the children. The clothes are going to be here. Money's going to be made. Money, you know, it comes and goes, but the kids are going to suffer. All the learning that they're missing out on, all, all, the, all the relationships and the social relationships that they're going to have with their peers, they're missing out on all that. Well, I don't want this to be the new normal. No, no, no. We got to make it normal again. Many businesses in New Jersey resorted to selling online or even curbside pickup, but not everybody was able to take advantage and bills still need to be paid. Our business is very difficult, um, you know, being in sports, um, it's a niche market, so curbside pickup, we don't, you know, necessarily have people that are just calling up, they have to have a jersey. We have obligations we want to fulfill, we have leases that we want to pay, but we have a lot of uh, things that we're not sure are going to come through for us or not, we just don't know what's going to happen. For the most part, the mall was filled with yeah. people excited to shop and happy to be back. I feel safe, I feel clean, I feel happy. I see all the stores have masks and sanitizer. Deborah Panzarella, senior marketing manager of the Freehold Raceway Mall, tells me that also off limits are valet parking, vetting machines, stroller rentals, and kitty play areas. Reporting from the Freehold Raceway Mall, I'm Kimberly Kravitz for New Jersey News Network.